Well, hello there. How are you this fine evening? There's our beautiful moon. Oh, how gorgeous. Sister Luna. This is some of the vineyard here at home. And uh, I am walking to go close my gate. I opened it for the UPS man. He has come and gone. So I'm going to close my gate for the night. Pretty boy was here with me, but I don't know what he got caught up in. My house is basically right over there behind those trees. Uh, just approaching sunset. It's a beautiful night. It was a hot day. There he is. <laughs> um, it's the beginning of a heat wave here. And I could feel that major intense energy before it even started. And uh, dragon energy big time. This is definitely the time of year when the dragons start getting really intense. It's been like that year after year. July is kind of their month, their stargate, where they start coming in really hot. No pun intended. And uh, so, been a lot of dragon energy lately. If you've missed my last two videos and last short, I don't think that I had a copyright on it, so I don't think it got it got shown to as many people or something happened with it. But anyway, it's the last one. I suggest you check it out. Um, but the dragons are about, oh, so, so much healing, connectivity, the elements, um, divinity, our power. No, we're not going through there. No, 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 stop. Stop. Hey, 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 you need to stop. I'm closing the gate, babe. I'm closing the gate. Yeah, I'm going to close the gate. There's a good boy. <laughs> We're not going all the way down there. Oh, see, I'm closing the gate. It's okay. It's okay. It's just my big gate. It's just my big gate. I'm going to close the gate, Bubba. He's a pretty badass cat. Like my cat, my other cat, he's the only one that comes out. And he, he's been all over the place with me, um, but not the other cats. All right, I am going to put this down for a second. <laughs> I get this on here. Pretty boy, pretty boy. Hey, come back here. Come back. We're not going that way. Don't be a butthead. Okay, there he is, little booger. Come on. Come on, Bubba. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Come on. How about we take, take a walk this way? So this is more of the property. Um, and more vineyard is back here. It's pretty big. So, anyway, the dragons. Um, they, for those who are meant to connect with the dragons, for those who are of that soul group... Pretty boy. Um, these are all over the place. They're just everywhere. I'm going to start doing a gathering. I shouldn't be out here with shorts and a tank top because this is when the... Oh, look at that view. This is when the mosquitoes start coming out. I haven't gotten any new mosquito bites because I've been really good at 
keeping myself um, covered up around dusk and at night if I go outside. Ooh, that's a good branch. I've been collecting branches. Look at all these. If one of these lands on your head, you are screwed. <laughs> Wow. Now this is a, oh, it's big. You're a big end. Oh, wow, really big. There's no way I could carry all that. I need two hands. Well, maybe. It's pretty big though, that's a rad branch. I collect branches. I put them outside and inside. I miss my indoor branches. There he is. Hey, Bubba. So anyhow, the dragons have been coming in big time. Um, and I think just setting the stage as usual at the end of June, gearing up for July for their stargate, their portals, their galactic gates, their connections with the soul group who are meant to connect with them, who are connected with them. And, um, yeah, that starts, oh, how pretty is that? And that basically starts now and, or started in the last, uh, well, since the new moon, I guess you could say. Um, it's been pretty heavy with all sorts of divine energies and things coming through, especially for me here as I settle in and move into this new home. Um, what do you think? Gophers, chipmunks, snakes? I always wonder. <laughs> uh... Oh, we're going to get into stickies over here. Oh, snap -oly. I think we've reached the end of our road. Yeah, because these things. Wait, pretty boy. I don't have, yeah, I'm not going to go in there. Okay, let's turn around. This wasn't here just last. We haven't been here for about a week back through here. And it has really grown over big time, especially with the sticky. So I'm going to have to come through here with my new weed eater and clear this out. I just got it today. Batteries are charging. I'm really stoked on that. Come on, Bubba! Um, cause, I mean, if you have like thick jeans on, maybe you could, would want to walk through there, but they are it's these things. They are super duper duper like needle like sharp. There's some kind of cactus. They've got to be. Um, they do bloom these really pretty yellow flowers though. Um, there you are. What? Where are you going? Careful. What are you chasing? Hey, you be careful. You can't beat everything. What is that? Is that a net? Oh, there's some kind of netting in there. Are those the brand? I'm so confused right now. No, that's definitely netting. That's interesting. I wonder why. I saw something. Oh my gosh, flies. Stop it. Um... I'm getting paranoid of mosquitoes. I'm allergic to mosquitoes. Um, I don't remember what that's called. Aurora has told me a billion times because her daughter has the same allergy. And um, she has it, I think, worse than I do. But basically, every mosquito bite turns into this, like, gnarly, swollen, um, really 
not good situation. You're allergic to the um, spit, the saliva of the mosquito. And through there, they're like in abundance because there's so much, so much going through it. I got bit on my hand. It's a, look at it, it's a scar now. Um, last time I went in there, pretty boy! See the bugs flying around. Come on, kitty. There he is. Come on, come on, Bubba. There he is. Big ass cat. He gets upset when he doesn't have eyes on me, but then he lets me get away from him. <laughs> That's not my fault. That's not my fault. Um, so, sorry, I keep getting distracted. Uh, bummed I wanted to walk through there, but I only, I have shorts on, so that is just not going to happen. Oh my gosh, look at this. So pretty. So there are people that are meant to, that are part of the soul group that are meant to connect with the dragons. Um, and others won't, <laughs> um, but I will say that most people who ascend are meant to connect with the dragons. Um, so unless you're like super closed off to that energy and those divine connections and um, tr the truth, really, because the dragons are all about the truth, helping us to see and witness. Oh, are you hot? <laughs> One cat's pant. He's so cute. So, for those that are really ready for the truth for themselves, for the for universal truth, for their own um, gnarly little boogers, uh, then you know that will definitely help activate. And and again, it's just about if you have a desire, if you've always felt an affinity for dragons. Um, and <clears throat> the thought of those beings actually being real and you being able to connect with them and even see them, um, in the sky and the elements. If you go to my, again, to my videos over the last or yesterday, um, and I've had on my other YouTube channel or channels, I've had many, many videos about dragons, <laughs> many many, many. Um, I've talked about dragons, connected with dragons for a long, long time. Um, it was the July Stargate of 2017. So it was seven sevens of 17 that they first connected with me. And I wasn't even really aware of it until about a week later. He's way back there. Hey, you coming? Slowpoke. Um, and I started just really feeling the dragons and connecting with the dragons and all dragon stuff. And then I got a, a download guidance to, uh, go back and look at my photos that I took of that sunset and see what I, you know, look at what I see in the sky. And I was like, what? But I did. And boy, did I see dragon. <laughs> and I have written about that. That's a, a, uh, medium article on my, on my medium, obviously. Um, lots of pictures of dragons and videos of dragons. Um, again, though, if you're not awoken, if you are not ready to connect with them, you just won't. 
it won't happen. You know, like there's people who just like won't see it. <laughs> and others that are like, oh my God, look at it. You know, so it's just one of those things. But again, if that's your desire and going into the second half of this year, you are all about uh, really connecting um, spiritually and to your guides and guardians and and you you want more want to experience more magic more real more truth more healing uh then you know say so intend for that to happen ask for that to happen that you connect with the dragons uh as time is going forward and as we get into july which is truly their month their stargate um and we'll have more on that in the coming days we're halfway through our uh, as you could tell by the moon we're halfway through our um cycle where oh no we can't see her she's over there somewhere uh, our moon cycle and getting to full moon. So that's going to be it's on July 3rd. So uh, that's going to be a big one. Only a few days before the 7th. And um, our stargate for, for the dragon. I say for the dragons. It's their stargate. Um, and when I say that, what I mean by that is... It's when they really come through for those um, of us who are connected or are meant to connect with them. Um, you get activated with them and downloaded with them. And they're just a really big presence for the Stargate and basically the whole month of July. So, um, and they are such amazing allies. They bring you such medicine in so many different ways, magic, um, help and guidance and so, so, so many different ways. Uh, and, um, everybody that connects with the dragons just gets gooey about it because they're so freaking cool. I love them so much. They are in my blood and in every heartbeat and um have been with me pretty intensely ever since that time in 2017 and I've helped bring them to other people and um no sightings of them today but really got a wave of them earlier um you'll also if you can't see them in the sky because there isn't um enough moisture enough clouds <clears throat> for them to pull around themselves to be seen in this dimension then they will also use air. So they'll be like really intense gusts of wind um, at particular times. So that definitely happened to me today several times. And I just start feeling them and connecting with them and just like getting a phone call and picking up the line and that's who's there sort of thing. So anyhow, thanks for taking a walk with me. Sorry it's limited because of my attire, but if it's not for the mosquitoes, it's about these guys. Um, but that's okay. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday evening or whenever it is that you're watching this. It is the 28th of June, 2023 here at home. Coming to you from Manton. I just moved here at the beginning of the month and still settling in, still unpacking still getting things together uh because there's so much <laughs> like sitting out by this amazing pond and enjoying the nature and resting a lot of rest um i've been guided to do which has been fine by me so i hope you're listening to i hope to see you soon and um sweet dreams let the magic pour into you until later, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Bye for now.